college football, the 1994 Southeastern Conference Championship game, presented by Dr. Pepper, matching the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Florida Gators. The third SEC title game since the conference expanded into divisional play. Alabama winning the West, Florida the East. Alabama won this title in 1992, Florida in 93. Both those games were played in Birmingham. Today we're in the Georgia Dome in Atlanta, Georgia. Punt formation, chain edge averaging better than 44 yards per punt. The deep man for Alabama is Todrick Malone. The kick is away. It's a good high one. And it is Deshae Townsend, not Malone. And Townsend steps away from it as the coverage was there. And it'll roll dead at the 24-yard line. No one has ever started more or played in more than 51 games in a career at Alabama. Here's Jay Barker on third down and four, looking for somebody. He's got a man at the tight end. It open. It is Curtis Brown. And Brown is out there by himself. It's a foot race to the goal line, and Alabama leads it six to nothing. Curtis Brown, 70 yards. Werfel throws it, sideline. Anthony is over there. He's very quick, very difficult youngster to get a hold of. Long-legged, six foot, 170. Woo. No pressure on edge, and it's another booming kick. The first one was 48. It is fielded by Deshae Townsend. And the free safety was the man who had stepped in a while ago on the touchdown play and uh, was looking to come support the run and uh, the man got away from him. That is Terrent Lynch coming out of the backfield, making the pass reception and picking up an Alabama first down. Brian Deal is in the putt. Sorola Palmer is deep. This is the 67th putt of the season for Deal. It's a good high hanger. And Palmer makes the reception and is taken down immediately by number 36, Andre Royal, a linebacker. All right, second down and 10 as Werfel goes with a little better protection this time. The ball is caught by Anthony. Beautiful pass by Werfel. Big play for Florida. It worked against the freshman cornerback, Dixie Townsend. A lot of folks disagree with it, too. Werfel to the sideline. He's got Anthony over there. He steps away from one. He may have his first down. He's very close to it. It's awfully close. Yeah. 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 Pass to the corner. He's got a man over there. It is a touchdown. Rydell Anthony makes a remarkable catch against Tommy Johnson for the six points. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. First quarter. And Barker back to throw to the sideline. It is good to Brown. And Curtis Brown, who scored the touchdown for the tie, makes the catch up at the 43 for the first down. Barker, four out of four for 104 yards and a touchdown. Pitch it to Williams. Cuts it inside. Busts a couple of tackles and gets it across midfield and almost has a first down. They've still got him in tight. Williams bounces outside off the fake. And they try the reverse with Tadwick Malone. And Malone uh, will not get much out of it. Second down and four as Malone gains six. Williams. That's the first down. Popped it back in. Iced it down. There's the option. Williams has got a little hole. He can make a little hole into a big hole very quickly. And he just outruns Ellis Johnson, number 61. Up man, Lynch gets a hold of the ball. Breaks loose, breaks a tackle, goes to the 10. That's another Alabama first down. All right, here's Buckter. Ready for the point. Brian Deal will hold it. Snap is good. The kick is up. And the kick is good. 22-yard field goal from Michael Buckter. Just, just named the first team All-American by the Football Coaches Association. Coached against each other a lot. Coached against each other more than they have ever almost anybody left in the conference. Werfel down the middle feet. It is good. And it is caught by Aubrey Hill, the senior out of Miami. Had a good game against Auburn, and he's very, very quick on that uh, right side defensive end position. There's a little dump off to the tailback Taylor, and Taylor's got a first down for the Gators. 
the blitz coming, but uh, got the pass off before it and making the catch is Anthony. That's five receptions now for Anthony. 223 points. He hammered it. Good. We are tied again at 10. Jay Barker looking around. Oh, look out for that one. It is intercepted by number 24, Fred Ray. Fred Wary. Big chance here to get the lead. Pressure from the backside. Ball thrown to Anthony on the sidelines. And belly in right up to him is the freshman, Deshae Townsend. There's that quick pass. It's intercepted. Only Danny Ruffle can keep him away from the touchdown. And he does it. Deshae Townsend. Former high school quarterback. And he hit that knuckle ball, but it bounces on into the end zone. Is there some of them place kicks? No, no pressure. Ball is away. It's a low line drive, though, and some room to run for Townsend. If he can get a little help from the corner. And goes out of bounds at the 44 yard line. Can't get rid of this one. So Barker a little heating up by Kevin Carter. Let's keep an eye on what goes on on the bench with him. Blocked. Kick is blocked. Well, both teams have blocked punts coming in. Gators have blocked four. And as you mentioned, the tie had nine blocks coming in. Gators come up at the 43 yard line. Ball is thrown quickly to Ike Hilliard. And Hilliard bounds down the field for almost 10 yards. And Florida now has got the bit in its teeth trying to untie this ball game. Give it off to Taylor. And Taylor is hit by Willie Gaston at the 30 yard line, but he's got a first down. And it's third down and eight. Werfel throws underneath the can. It goes to Taylor, breaks a tackle, breaks a second tackle, picks up a first down for the Gators at the Alabama 15-yard line. Underneath again, it goes to Taylor, the tailback, and he's inside the five. First and goal for the Gators. Werfel, touchdown. They got 10 of them up there. They're going after Brian Deal, but he gets this one out. Kind of shanked it. And it takes a good bounce, though. Stays inbound. It's like a trained football. It just headed for the side, kicked back in, and rolled another 20 yards. Clock didn't stop until the ball stopped rolling. Yep. That'll do it. Halftime, 1994 SEC Championship game presented by Dr. Pepper is Florida 17, Alabama 10. Now halftime with John Saunders. Ball is hit very hard, a low line drive that carries three yards deep in the end zone and Marcel West comes out with it and gets it to the 20, one yard line. He's got it under the quarterback right now, and he's calling a play at the line of scrimmage with Sherman Williams lined up behind him. A little short option move. Ball pitched back to Lynch. Lynch turns the corner, picks up a first down, and a rumble going down the roadway all the way to the 37-yard line. They have not done anything on their last four possessions. Three and out the last four times they've had the ball. They only have 15 yards in the second quarter. Sherman Williams coming around the corner, getting some help over there from Patrick Malone, a wide receiver. Third down and two. Parent Lynch was the single back, and he almost broke it. I like this kid, Keith. The defensive line is continuing to dominate for Florida. Brian Deal's kick is a high shot up into the flags of the Georgia Dome, and it'll be first down Florida on the fair catch at their own 12. 
the Tide has continued to play a four-man line with just two linebackers and five defensive backs. Deshae Townsend is waiting. There's a penalty flag. Another good punt. Finally gets it on the sidelines and trips and goes down. Alabama's three out of ten on third down conversions today. Sherman Williams, one right in the corner. He's got it for the 30. This is a 47-yard try for Michael Proctor. His long of the year is only 35. And he's got a lot of leg on this, baby, and it's good. 47-yarder. Stalling said they, they this might... This return here. They thought they might be able to block one. It's return. Good kick by Edge. Deshea Townsend comes over. The ball is kicked out of bounds. And it's kicked out of bounds. Uh, <laughs> Chad Key is helping the linesman on down the field down there. He moved him about seven yards all the way down to the 42-yard line, and here's Swanee. Third and six. That is Patrick Pick, the tight end. That may be a drive stopper right there, Keith. Yep, very well for feet. He's got Brown wide open. Brown's got the ball. Threw that ball sharply and well. And a first down at the Florida 23. Third down and nine. Oh, no chance. Never had a chance. Ellis Johnson just blew John Stevenson away. Here's Michael Proctor. In for a field goal try. He's at 22, 47. And now he goes for another big one. And it is good. 48 yards. Their running back really steps up close to the line. Slips through the hole, slides into that short zone, makes a catch. Shoe rolling around. I might have thought it was a football there for a minute, but it wasn't. It was somebody's shoe. Taylor. Penalty flag. Jeffries. Jeffries, yes. He may be trying to pull Alabama off with a long hope. They're going to run it. It's Taylor. He's got it. Florida did it. That could be huge. High snap. Almost got it. Knocked it out of bounds at about the 20. Almost blocked it. So this is a new Georgia Dome attendance record, 74,751. Sherman Lewis looking for a little daylight and finds about uh, Sherman Williams up to about the 25-yard line. There goes Williams again. And you know what? He looked like he was dead in the well, but he wound up picking up a first down with that last surge. We have the tiebreaker in effect today. We will not have a tie. Marker's pass, good. Caught by Patrick Malone. You notice that Brian Deal's uh, movement on the punt's been a little quicker since he had that one blocked. Ripple throws it hard. Point lead for Alabama at 23 to 17. Five wide receivers. 
And they get the pass off to Doring. And Doring is hit as he catches it up near the 25. And if they're going to tie it, they're going to have to do it through the air. Peyton showed blitz. Now he drops off into the coverage. Three man a rush coming. Werfel's pass is thrown complete. It is caught by Aubrey Hill. Pressure coming. Pressure, pressure. Can he read it? Passes away. He's got a man over there. And the pass is caught. And he's out of bounds at the Alabama 42 yard line. That was a hoax. Uh, that's, uh, that's enough to scare you for a play. Second down and 10. Got to go on it now. Werfel's a big kid. Third and about a yard and a half. Florida, two out of 11 on third down conversion. Werfel's pass is away and incomplete. And almost intercepted by Willie Gaston. Fourth and a yard and a half, and they're going. Taylor. He broke the oh, tackle. Great broke the tackle and made the first down. He got away from Ozell Powell. And neither one of them are in the game. One because if he's injured and the other because he got beaten out. It's a pass. He got a screen set up out there for Riddell Anthony. And they take him down at the 23-yard line. All right, they're moving the white outs around, shifting them here, putting them there. It is second down and the long There's one. The There's the same thing. They throw it down field and it is out of bounds at the two-yard line to Chris Doring. First and goal Gators, Alabama two. To the lead. If they can get the extra points. Davis, Judd Davis, 80 straight extra points. And Florida's back in front by one. 24 to 23. He's got all the plays that he ain't afraid to call them, and he's got them when he needs them. Jay Barker throws it out to Sherman Williams, who's got some help. And Williams up to the 27-yard line. Michael Proctor, All-American. He may be called on in a little while. Sherman Williams, a big run. First down for the Crimson Tide to the 36-yard line. Fresh legs. Fresh legs. Make a difference up near the 40. Todrick Malone is the man in motion. Ball is handed off inside to Sherman Williams. And he's close, but he's short. Parrott Lynch over the right side and gets the first down at the 47-yard line. Well, it's, it's coming They're this the way. Hunt. Wide side, both wide receivers. He's got it. Intercepted. He had it on top with Malone's hands. It ricochets to Eddie Lake. And the Florida Gators have the football with 54 seconds to play. Nobody really loses in this game, though. This was, a, this was an outstanding game. Yep, that'll do it. All they got to do is run it off because Alabama can't stop it now. And the two teams take hands. It was a tremendous football game as Florida wins 24 to 23.